Good evening, guys. Yeah, we did make contact tonight with the family of that teenager who has Down syndrome. They declined to speak with us, saying they're just a bit overwhelmed right now. But those we did get a chance to chat with today are completely outraged by what happened. I felt terrible. Like, my stepsister, she has special needs, and it just makes me sick. Emma Gorecki is talking about a video filmed on a cell phone inside a bathroom at her school, York Community High in Elmhurst. He's a freshman, he has Down syndrome, and he was in the bathroom with five or ten people, able-bodied people, juniors, um, and from what I saw, they just started beating on him, and when he was asking them to stop, they continued cheering him on, like egging it on. We're not showing the video due to privacy concerns, along with everyone in it being a minor. But as Emma said, it shows a crowded bathroom with a special needs student being pushed and shoved around as several other older teenagers laugh and taunt him. It's a freshman versus juniors. Even if he didn't have special needs, I'd still feel terrible, but that just makes it so much worse. This all happened last week, with the school emailing parents saying an incident had occurred, an investigation was underway, and police had been notified, but some felt it was too vague. The school did email parents saying that there was an incident, not saying that a boy with Down syndrome got jumped, just that there was an incident. That email went on to say those involved would be punished, and they seemingly have. I know one student got five days of suspension, and I'm assuming other kids got similar, but I'm not exactly sure what their punishments are. But the community wants more, saying bullying is consistently an issue. Students are now circulating a petition which has garnered thousands of signatures, calling for reform at York, specifically when it comes to supervision procedures at bathrooms. And the student body is also planning a walkout for Friday. On Friday, we are doing a school-wide walkout. Um, at 1 p.m. December 16th. We are walking out not just for um, this incident, but for how it's been handled and how other situations similar should be handled like this. It should be important, not swept under the rug so the parents don't find out about it. Now we did reach out to the school today as well and we received a direct statement which reads in part, we are deeply disappointed and saddened by the actions of this small group of students. Bullying, intimidation and harassment diminish a student's ability to learn and a school's ability to educate. Such behaviours are not tolerated in Elmhurst District 205 and any student who chooses to engage in these behaviours will face the appropriate consequences. Consequences. Throughout the day on Friday, students involved in the situation were interviewed and significant school consequences were issued. The investigation continued throughout the weekend and remains ongoing. Now, we did reach out to police today as well. We have yet to hear back from them. Again, that walkout is scheduled for Friday at 1 o'clock. We're in Elmhurst tonight. Bruna Tomalty, WGN News.